Good morning from Changwon. I think is where I'm at. It is a beautiful fall day today. Air feels amazing. But I have a tough day ahead of me. <laughs> it's gonna be really hard. That's kind of what I'm looking at. Up and down, up and down, up and down. And so, hey, hey, what are you doing? And uh, I'm trying to go 100K today. I don't know if I'll make it just because it looks like it's gonna be pretty tough. But luckily we have a beautiful, beautiful day today. Great day for cycling. A little windy. All right, feeling, feeling good, let's do it. And I'm already pushing. Hello. <laughs> Alright, some bananas, some grapes, some oranges, some sweet potatoes, tomatoes. Oh, you have a little bit of everything. How about some bananas? What thousand? Oh, wow, what a deal. Okay. Two Two Uh huh. Two get two Ooh, that looks pretty interesting. A little rocket in the middle of that roundabout. How can I get over there? I don't know. There's no uh, no information. There's a plaque right there with some Korean on it, but you'd have to jump up there. And I don't know if I want to do that. So, uh, I can make out a date, 1972. If anyone knows what this rocket monument is supposed to represent, I'd love to know. Please tell me in the comment section. That ain't too bad. What a view. Feels uh, a little different than any other place I've been in Korea too. Big sprawling city there underneath the mountains. Pretty cool sight. Alrighty, so I found myself in another pretty big city it feels like. So, it's about time to eat some lunch before I hit the mountains again. Uh, last night I had some Thai food, today for lunch. Let's eat some ramen. I actually didn't have any ramen when I was in Japan just a couple days ago, so. Let's try it out, looks pretty good online. Turn my light off. Hello. Hey, hey. Yeah. One, just, oh, just me. All right, thank you. Here. So I wanted to show you ramen, and uh, I wanted to get this. They have some kaki ramen, the moisture ramen, but it's seasonal, and they only serve it during the winter time. But damn, I've actually never had oyster ramen. It sounds pretty good, doesn't it? But I want to show you ramen, which is soy sauce ramen. Looks pretty legit. It's good. I think it's just a Korean thing. It's like really light. It doesn't have a lot of punch. It's almost see-through. Clear broth. Overall, very satisfying. Mm. See what I mean? Actually, it was a green light for probably 20 seconds before we got the green light. And so these cars race around the corner and, uh, and then all of a sudden you get the green light for the pedestrian walk and you really got to be careful. You just can't see the green light for the pedestrian and be like, all right, it's not, I'm good to go because no, those cars are coming around the corner. But this is nice. I was kind of worried. I saw a tunnel up here and I was like, damn it. I'm not going to be able to go through it, but it looks like we have a bike path. Awesome. I 
I've been trying to change my route from here to some Chompo and uh, just trying to stay off the main roads and I'm trying to make it easier on myself with the up downs and I don't think there's any I don't think there's an easy way to get there from Busan unfortunately so which it makes me wonder how do most cyclists from Busan get to Jeju you know if you finish the Incheon to Busan bike course and you want to go to Jeju I guess you gotta fly I guess that's the easiest way but then you have to pack your bike in a box and that's no fun and from what I understand there used to be a ferry but I guess the company went bankrupt or they're not in service anymore for whatever reason but is this the only way to get to uh, to Jeju from Busan am I doing this wrong I mean, that's kind of how a lot of lights work here. Flashing red lights all the way around, but as you see, cars just go through it. <laughs> those are huge. Damn, what are you storing those? It's pretty. <laughs> it's nice to look at. Look at the, the mountains, the hills, just do 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 do, one after another. But, uh, man, it's tough. It is tough. Is it hotter than the East Coast from Donghae South? I don't know about that, but I mean, it's just do 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 do. And I'm trying to make it easier on myself too. Like this is the easiest route I could find. So gotta keep going. Woo! Oh yeah! <laughs> These are nice though. Which one should I do, the uh, the red or the blue pill? <laughs> e or A? Let's try. Let's do the red pill. It's like little medicine bottles right here. Come there. Mm. Oh. Cough medicine. Man, Korea is a tough cycling country at times. <laughs> it is up and down, up and down. Man, I'm ready to get to Jeju. I heard Jeju's pretty easy, pretty flat, especially compared to probably what I've been doing. Like, everyone I've talked to said, yeah, it's pretty simple. Hey, a cyclist. <laughs> I haven't seen too many of them. He's not carrying all the shit that I am, but... Gotta get there. Just gotta get there. I can do it. That's what I'm looking at. Uh, let's do it. <laughs> come on. Come on, come on. I don't mind the inclines. I just wish they were a little more gentle and not straight up a lot of times. This ain't too bad. Got some farmland on the side here. Got some mountains. I can do this. <laughs> this is good. Let's keep it this way. <sighs> and there it is. It got me. I'm riding along. I was like, wait a second. My, my tire feels a little flat. And sure enough, it was. I'm airing it up. I'm like, ah, I wonder if I roll rolled over something and sure enough staring me right in the face is this so yep yeah I don't know if you can hear but I can air is definitely coming out so I'm gonna have to change it right here Alright, that's not a problem. It's a good thing I stopped when I did and uh, had a look over here at this beautiful view. Because I think I'm about to hit a downhill. <laughs> and uh, it went flat pretty quick. Check that out. We're done. <laughs> and 
so that could have been pretty dangerous. And so it's a good thing I caught it when I did. All right. This is when bringing a pair of gloves would be handy so you don't get your hands all dirty. That's so dirty. So dirty. I need to get my bike clean so bad. Okay, now the fun part. Now, the hardest part for me, always, when changing a tire, is getting the tire off. <laughs> if you can do that, it's easy, but I always struggle to do that. And so, let's see how long it takes me today. Do not lose that. Got, that. Got the tire levers here, but it's always a pain in the ass. Got them both in there. Now oh, come on, slide. Slide. Hey. Oh. That's what you want. See this tire, I've already fixed too. We're doing good though, we're doing good. Check the tire. I'm pretty sure it was this spring that got me. I mean, it has to be that spring. And so I pulled it out, should be good. If I didn't, I'd have to, I probably should check the tire pretty, pretty good just to make sure nothing else is poking through, but it was that spring. And then when I do this, I'm always afraid I'm going to pinch it when I'm putting the tire back on. And so you got to be careful there. Come on. Come on, get in there. Hey, all right. Boom. Let's air it up. And uh, see if it holds there. I should. It's a brand new tube. This is when having a big air pump is awesome, but you don't want to travel with one of those. I feel these little guys, they aren't what you want, but they're light and you know, they don't take up a lot of space and they still do the trick, but it just takes forever to air up a tire. This could take me a while. Just getting the tire back on the bike sometimes for me is a challenge. That's why, okay, okay. I'm gonna go in between the brake pads. Boom! All right, all right, all right. There you look at there. I think we're in business. Just gotta put this down. Are we aligned? Booyah! I think we're good. <laughs> that didn't take too long at all either. I'm kind of proud of myself. Let's uh, flip her over, pack it up, and get on out of here. Whew. I know that has got to be the the fastest I have ever changed out of tire, by far. That was quick. All right, hopefully I don't have to do that for a very long time. That sucks, so. Just can't wait to get on the road again. Oh my gosh, I'm so lucky I didn't start on this downhill with a flat tire. Whew, that would have been bad. All right, we can go left to Jinju, right to Busan and Changwa. Something sweet sounds good too. Mountains here are beautiful. Ooh, okay, quick pit stop at Starbucks. Fixed my sweet tooth. It's kind of cool. And I uh, play with the map a little bit. I'm gonna add maybe four or five kilometers to today's route, but I think it's going to be a lot easier on me. It's 
so I'm basically going to try and hug the coast as much as I can because that seems to be the easiest way. And so it might take a little longer, but it'll be flat. Flatter, at least, hopefully. On to Gosong in Jinju. Let's go. And that sun is getting lower and lower. And once it goes underneath those mountains, it's going to get chilly. That's all right, though. I got it close. And it's almost harvest season. Should be doing it any day now, honestly. It's pretty late. It's already October. I feel like they should be harvesting the rice. Oh, and they are. Look, that one's already done. Yep. Hey, it's a war memorial. Uh, okay. You don't see very many of them down here. You really don't. Let's park the bike and go check it out. All right, so this is a monument that commemorates the soldiers that fought in this area during the Korean War. And so in 1950, in August of 1950, there was a battle that took place around here. And this was already overtaken by the North Koreans like that's how quick they captured the south and moved down and were eventually held off at the Nakdong River right and so this area was already controlled by the North Koreans it said the UN army soldiers and the Republic of Korea's Marines they're the ones that held off the North Koreans in this area and for their efforts and their sacrifice this monument is dedicated to them Of this thing. <laughs> wow. <laughs> 